So, do you guys want to see something cool? Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. If you haven't really noticed in the last couple of months, I've changed the trajectory of my channel to focus more on the fan-made stuff for Dragon Ball. And with the Dragon Ball scene exploding with new fan manga artists and creators every single day, there are so many things to cover and there are so many people to give clout to because one of the biggest things that I've gotten from the last few months is this sense of accomplishment of being able to give a voice to people who wouldn't normally have a voice, say fan manga artists and creators that don't have that big of a name, that big of a following and are in Dragon Ball Multiverse which is arguably the biggest Dragon Ball fan manga project other than say Dragon Ball AF, I guess maybe the most well known. There are other projects out there and I've been given the opportunity to give them a voice and give them an outlet so that way they can go ahead and grow their own audience and I love that. And so, in the same vein, I want to show you guys this incredible artist. This is the art that you've seen everywhere on the internet. And maybe you don't know exactly who created it, besides the logo that says Wiz Yakuza. You don't know the backstory of this, you don't know where to go to get your own artwork, and that's the purpose of this video. I want to give a heavy, clouded video here to Wiz Yakuza, aka Caesar Ian Muyuela. This video interview given by Artificia is really the only footage that we have of this incredible artist. He's the one that's created these pieces of art. I can honestly just fill up this entire video with his artwork because it's fantastic. You've seen this before, you've seen it at other places. It's got this surreal, real quality that makes it look very realistic. Something that could happen in our world, something that we could see with our own eyes, but still keep its own genre feel, its own cartoon feel, the specifics of what makes the art art. If there's something that looks like Tokyo Ghoul, it's gonna look like Tokyo Ghoul. Something that looks like Dragon Ball, it's gonna look like Dragon Ball, and so on and so forth, but it still has that same quality that you can kind of see in the real world and that mixes real well with each other and that brings me to one of my favorite things that this artist creates and that is crossovers if you know me and if you've been a subscriber since i was at one well maybe 10 15 subscribers whatever maybe around 100 when I started actually talking about this and I started making videos on crossovers. I started making videos on how different characters would interact with crossovers or crossover ideas, how Vegeta would be if he got the shotting gun, shit like that. And I was really big into that and this artist seems to have that same love and passion that I do because a lot of his art a good portion of it is crossovers and look at it, it looks fantastic, it looks great. It, it looks like these crossovers blend so well and effortlessly without feeling cringy because the way that the art is represented, the way the art feels this real and gritty look, very photorealistic so it feels like it can blend with anything and that's what makes the crossover so successful. This crossover art is fantastic. Honestly, if I gotta be real honest with you guys, what really made me want to create this video and give Caesar some props or major props is I saw this art of all these villains from Dragon Ball if the symbiote took them over and if you guys don't know who the symbiote is then obviously you haven't been watching commercials in the last month and this art shows what they would look like with venom attached to them essentially or or carnage or whatever symbiote they're they're infected with and look at it man look at these expressions i mean this is really what got me into into making this video if you guys have been with me again 
from back to 100 subscribers, you guys know that not only was I really big into crossovers, but the big reason that I created the channel, I was really big into Goku Black. This was right after the Goku Black arc, and I wanted to make a channel focused on villains at first. And so I made a lot of my intros like villain centric. I made a lot of my concepts early on talking about the villains of Dragon Ball because I was just so enamored with all the villains of the franchise. And that is why this picture kind of grasped at me a little because these are my favorite dudes right here and they look so freaking badass. I mean, honestly, I can't give this picture enough praise. So I'm gonna stop the video right here and out of these characters that are on this picture, pause the video, Go into the comment section and tell me which one looks the best with the symbiote on them. Which one looks the scariest, the most badass, and let me know in the comment section below. Then hit play again and continue the video. If you would like to support this artist, I left his YouTube channel in the description. Mainly because, I mean, he has one. It's got a decent amount of subscribers on it. And this is where I found the speed painting from the very beginning of the video. But he hasn't posted on this channel for years. So if you want to go ahead and check some of the speed paintings out, go ahead and go to his channel. Go to his Facebook page. He is active on his Facebook page. He's got some recent posts on there. And the artwork is also on the Facebook page. Go follow him on Twitter. You can see even some of his most recent artwork here. These are triple transition split prints. And a lot of people have been boasting that they got these on the internet. They've got them on unwrapped videos on YouTube and they're posting the pictures on Twitter. But look at this artwork, look at the detail. He's got such a signature detailed style. And the fact that he's got three different versions of Goku and Vegeta split onto one holographic transitional print, it just shows exactly what this guy's all about. And honestly, this picture right here, the one that you see in front of you where it kind of transitions between three different versions of each character, that just sums up Wiz Yakuza's artwork in one picture, really. It shows you he's a fan of Dragon Ball. He's got a very detailed and realistic looking style. And he's a fan of crossovers because these are essentially crossover prints. It's just extremely well done and I cannot harp on how much I love this dude's artwork. And lastly, if you would like to buy some of his artwork, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys a link to Wiz Yakuza's website where you can check out all his artwork. All of it's on there. It's not just Dragon Ball. He's got a lot of stuff on here. Go ahead and check him out. If you want to order anything, this is the place to buy it. And Wiz Yakuza, Caesar, if you're watching this video and you want to give me like a promotional discount code that I can give to my viewers, hey, just hit me up on Twitter, man. This is going to be Blackscape, signing off. Take care, guys.